Well, it is indeed a surprise for two investors, and uh, Marco is choosing his, his time uh, very effectively, uh, and he's taking on uh, another monumental challenge, that of rejuvenating Ferragamo that seems dated on both core elements of marketing, product, and communication. Uh, one could argue that uh, the Burberry revival has uh, been partially successful. Uh, the brand is in a better position than, uh, than it was when Marco took over, but uh, this is far from being uh, a runway success, and uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. It's interesting looking at the title of the note you published this morning, a partially successful brand turnaround. You say that's what today marks, but clearly investors are shaken by the news. What do you think investors are so concerned about? Well, I think that investors now need to know who the next CEO will be and uh, what the uh, new priorities will be. This looks like uh, another strategic reset or has the potential to be another strategic reset. You mentioned three CEOs in a row uh, being uh, uh, at the helm of Burberry over the past few years. Uh, that adds uncertainty uh, and uh, it, it probably prompts the market to sit on the sidelines and wait for uh, more clarity. Who do you think could be in the running when it comes to the next CEO? Well, you know, that is a, a $100 million question. There's a, a lot of very talented uh, people in the industry, both within the company and outside of the company. And Berber remains one of the most prominent brands in the uh, European luxury goods landscape. So I think that uh, the board and, uh, and the chairman uh, will have plenty to choose from. Well, Luca, you and I have spoken many times before about Burberry as a takeover target. It's been speculated by the market for quite some time. And despite the positive impact of Marco at the brand, it's still trading at a steep discount relative to its peers. Do you think that this uh, period of change at the top could make Burberry even more of an attractive takeout target? In theory, it could, and we see that the share price today is declining, so a takeover would cost less money. But uh, in, uh, in, uh, you know, in reality, uh, I wonder, we've been talking and uh, the industry has been talking uh, about Burberry as a potential takeover target for at least the past 25 years, and the takeover never materialized. The truth is that uh, this brand is uh, still very spiky. If we look at its appeal geographically, it is very uh, different and, uh, and, and not consistent across geographies. Uh, if we look at uh, the price that uh, its leather goods command, uh, it is behind those of other mega brands in the leather goods category like Gucci or Prada. Uh, so there's uh, work to do and uh, a takeover would uh, would be confronted with uh, all of that. And, uh, and it's a big task for, uh, for a private equity investor. And I'm not sure that an industry uh, bidder would necessarily be there.